Hello, hello, I'm Steph, and I help people like you create a life and a business that you love and quit your day job. Ready? Let's do this. On today's episode, I'm going to give you my top eight tips to create a business that you absolutely love and is thriving in your industry. Step number one is to get crystal clear. Empty out your cup as much as you can with any drama, energy draining activities so that you can then fill it back up to create the business that you absolutely love. Tip number two is to give your best stuff away for free. Selling online or in person, your client needs to like, know, and trust you. So how you can do that is to give away your free stuff, pieces of content that you poured your heart and soul into so that your client can learn how amazing you are. Now, if this makes you nervous and you're unsure how to differentiate between free and paid content, free is pieces of the puzzle, amazing content. What your client pays for is the system, the package, how you connect the dots and help them get success. Tip number three, imperfection is perfection. You could spend your whole life perfecting your very first video, your very first podcast episode, your very first blog. What that doesn't do is it doesn't get you into action and your client has no idea how amazing you are. So just start. The number one piece and tip I can give you when providing free content is to remember it's not about you and how perfect you look or sound. It's about giving content. Your client is listening to get information. Do not worry about what your hair looks like on video or if your audio isn't perfect. It's all about content and value. Tip number four, specificity is key. Niche down like a ninja. Get so specific on who your client avatar is, on what you're selling, on what problem you're going to fix. The more specific, the better. And the less authority you have in your industry, the more specific you must be to have success. Tip number five, learn from the experts. There is no point in figuring it out for yourself. In today's day and age, we can find all sorts of information, free and paid, on the internet. So learn from the experts, don't struggle through things, and you will have great success. You can spend your energy in your zone of genius rather than struggling through tech issues or certain areas that make you want to pull your eyeballs out. Which leads us into tip number six. Work in your zone of genius. First, you gotta identify it. In order to do this, you can practice in different areas, in video, in writing, in coaching. And how you figure out your zone of genius is what lights you up, what you could do in your sleep, what comes easily to you when friends and family member ask for your advice and it rolls off your tongue. That is your zone of genius. Tip number seven, social media hacks. If you get frustrated by all your notifications, turn them off. It's your choice. You choose when to go on and consume consume content. For example, if you are in 10 different business groups learning from the pros, but it frustrates you and you get overwhelmed with all the notifications, turn them off. Build your list in different areas. Do not put all your eggs on in one basket. For example, on Facebook. What if Facebook decides to close down one day? On Instagram. Build your list in multiple avenues. Build an email list. Use free software to email your clients. Build a Facebook list from a business page so you can retarget in the future with Facebook ads. Build your Instagram following and know 
that it's more important to get client engagement, comments, and likes as opposed to followers. Tip number eight, set up an action plan and step into action. All of the work that you've done to get you to where you are will help no one if you stay behind your computer screen and avoid stepping into action. So your homework is to pump out free content, get people to like, know, and trust you, really go for that engagement, build connections with people. Don't be afraid to give your stuff out for free because that's how people like, know, and trust you and in turn will buy your stuff. It also gives you free practice to interact and connect so that you are a pro when somebody pays for your services. Another tip with free coaching or client is to get testimonials and feedback. We can pump ourselves up all day long, but there's nothing better than a client testimonial. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Those were our top eight tips to build your business. I'm Steph, and I help people like you create a business and a life that you absolutely love. And if you haven't done so already, come join us over in our free community group, Work Smarter, Not Harder, on Facebook. I look forward to seeing you there. Talk to you next time.